Hello everyone, this is Mac the Speedstar here, ready to run through the next part of Paper Mario. Last time, we did stuff for Koopa Koop once again. For the final time too, because I remember now that once you take care of the favor that involves the red jar, once you've taken care of that one, that's it. I believe that's always the last one. So, we're done with Koopa Koop. We're good. I might go see him one more time because he does have one more thing he will want to say to Mario, but I don't think that happens until after you've cleared Chapter 7, I believe. I don't know. But anyway, we're not dealing with him. We are dealing with a couple things and maybe getting a start on Chapter 7. That's what we're doing in this video. Now, I stopped by here because of one thing in particular. These two. This guy here is known as the Master Poet. And he'll definitely show it. <clears throat> I'm Simon, I'm a rhyme. Do folks you know it? I'm the Master Poet. Poor Pop Diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our Pop Diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck though, cause my last line's a no-show. Later, Plaminator. You think that'd be a good nickname for Mario? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is said Pop Diva. This is Chanterelle. She can't sing because of what happened. And here's why. She witnessed the whole thing and she has been just... Yeah. I feel for ya. Because there's a lot of things that I've seen that and experienced that kind of make me not want to do a lot. Like I hardly even draw anymore, and I really want to draw for my uh, channel arts. That's one thing I want to do. So we need to figure out their problem, but in order to do so, we need the help of another. And we've been passing by that guy for a few times now. He's in Dry Dry Outpost, so we're gonna head there. And we're here. Actually, before I do, I want to sell off a couple things because I think... And I'm just thinking here. I'm thinking... If I time myself just right, I can have Ralph have a certain item that I really want. You probably know what it is. It's that uh, badge that I wanted to have show up. But it never did. Now, is there anything else? Uh, I do have plenty of maple syrup. You know what? I can sell one. One's enough. So, with that taken care of, let's go see this guy. This is the composer. I think I've shown him off at least once in this LP, but... I have been hinting that we have to talk to him eventually, and the time is now. A composer, yes that's me, I write songs as you can see. Hum hum, choo choo choo, wee you. Hey, he was referring this console even before it existed. Who oh, no. knew? <laughs> I couldn't help it. So, we needed to talk to this guy. Because we need to talk to both him and the Master Poet in order for this to trigger, and we have to do it pretty quick. So, back to the Master Poet. We're here. And let's see what old Simon has to say. Oh, that final right line just jumped into my mind. That didn't rhyme. I'm calling you out for faking rhyming. Sit tight, oh plumbing knight. Okay, I'll let it slide that time, because he called us the Plumbing Knight. And you know he's fancy, because he has a feather pen. The race is won, now I'm done. I'm not really one to boast, but talent, I've got the most. Now to my lyrics, raise a toast. Cha-ching, a pop diva now will sing. Ah, oh, but I'm afraid I just can't sing without any music. Oh, trapped and drear. My mind wasn't clear. Lyrics aren't the only thing Pop Diva needs again to sing. Without music, it's quite clear. 
the diva's voice. None will hear. Hmm, what shall I do? What shall I do? Again, he's not rhyming. Now he's just repeating. Who can pair my lyrics and music to? I know who. I heard a rumor that somewhere is a composer beyond compare. Special powers his music brings. Can it help the diva sing? Not rhyming. That's three times I've caught you, Buster. Mario, I'm on my knees. Won't you help? Pretty please. Here, take this and go. Find the music. Save our show. Alright. But I want 15% of the profits you get from this show. Knock, knock. Hey, dude. There he goes again. Referencing this console. So, after you've talked to him, once you've gotten the lyrics... Mm hmm? What's this then? Well... Uh-huh. Fantastic! These are incredible lyrics! The wording is simple, yet whoever wrote them packed them with powerful feeling. It's been a long time since I was moved by something so deeply. Feels weird talking after uh, talking in rhyme. I don't know why. They've moved me so much, I just thought of beautiful music to accompany them. Wait just a second. Once again, fancy, because using feather pens. Whew. I've written the perfect music for these lyrics. I caution you though, that this music can be sung only by an expert. I know of no one up to the task. Here, take my masterpiece. So, with the lyrics and music combined, we've got the melody. And, now that we have it, we must head back to the Master Poet. Okay, it didn't rhyme, so what? Now, let's put an end to this little side quest once and for all. Will this melody help Chanterelle be the pop diva that she was born to be? Ooh, say it so! That's music, no? Well, it's not music, but, uh... Close enough. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes! It's the best! With this music we rejoice, for it will give pop diva voice! Now, Chanterelle, please do tell. Will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't wait long! Oh, it's perfect! So beautiful! But, what if I can't sing it? Hey, 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 it'll be okay! You can do it, nothing to it! Be courageous, sing it loud, wobble on, sweet and proud! Yes, I will try to sing! And cue the guitar. Bravo! Here, here! This sweet song has brought me tears! <laughs> to Mario, our greatest thanks! Because of you, Pop Diva cries! <laughs> okay, I went overboard there, but... I don't know, I just wanted to try something. But, for all this, we get... An attack FXD badge, which means... The reward is not really worth it. But, if you want to, now that you've uh, cured Chanterelle, you can come here at any time and you can ask her to sing. I believe she sings an extended version of what she just sang before. And, uh, spoiler alert, this is actually, I believe, part of the credit song that we get when we complete the game. In fact, she also shows up. So, regardless of whether you do this or not, she will regain her singing voice. 
But you know, you can just hear this uh, early. And that's pretty much it. You can uh, stick around and listen to the full song if you want, but I just wanted to show that off. Now, there is one more thing we need to do before we start Chapter 7. And that is... If you notice here, I want the... I can't believe I just did that. I always get those confused, I don't know why. But anyways, you see here, three of our party members have yet to be upgraded. However, there are two more super blocks that we cannot get to yet, which means we missed a super block somewhere. And that's what I'm going to take care of real quick. So I will see you where it is. Okay. Having to come back to this place. The super block I missed was here. And I'm a little embarrassed because this one I could have got when I started Mount Lava Lava. Or I could have done it in the episode before I fought the Lava Piranha and I actually would have probably got it to a decent length. But anyway, heading in here, we can get to these fire bars and at the end of this room is the super block. So this is entirely optional, but I want to do it because, well, sorry if I got a couple coins, I am going for all super blocks. I am doing a 100% run, pretty much. I'm still undecided on the whole recipes thing. That'll either be a bonus episode or just something I won't bother with. All I know is, if I do decide to do it, it's going to be kind of costly, same with the badges. So let's take care of this last fire bar, and there we go. This should get us enough coins, I believe. Yep. So, there we go. Got that, and now we can upgrade one of our party members. I'll upgrade Bombat. Because she does get a pretty good attack, but it is very costly, I know. But I'm going to be upgrading everyone anyway, and I don't really need to, because I won't be using them as much. But, what the heck. So, now that I got that taken care of, I'm heading back to Toad Town. Because we're now going to get a start on Chapter 7. Alright, we're here. So, before I... Please... Yes! Oh, and also has Mega Quake. This would have been a good one too, but... It'd be even more costly than the Power Quake. So, let's get this damage dodge badge, because I've been wanting it. And there we go. I may only have three coins now, but I definitely will be getting more. So, let's equip it. I did take off that extra... Oh, I went to active badges. I did take off that uh, other badge, the... The Spin Attack one, yeah. I took that one off, and yeah, I want that damage dodge because it takes off two damage when I attack, which will really help decide battles. So, since we don't know where we need to go because Twink hasn't been able to get to us, nor have we been able to figure out where the last Star Spirit is, Merlin would be the obvious choice. Putting that into consideration, the developers made it so it is necessary to speak to Merlin again. Otherwise, you can't even start Chapter 7. <clears throat> oh, it's you! You came at it such a good time! There's a guest waiting for you. This guy's a ninja! We haven't seen these guys in a long time! See, the Mario 2 are a... Were they in Mario RPG? I, I don't remember. Anyway, nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north at the very end of the Earth. Merle, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you tomorrow. 
I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. And you don't even need to pay coins in order for him to tell you that. So, now we know what we must do, let's head there, utilizing this shortcut. I still, STILL, seriously wish I could have done the blue house skip, but, oh well. Pass you, cause honestly you're insignificant at this point. Now, that blue door up there, you can't enter it until you've spoken to Merlin and the ninji, and... You need the Ultra Boots because you need the Tornado Jump to hit these blocks and create a bridge. This is the only way you're going to get to Shiver City. If you can find some kind of glitch, I don't know, but uh, I'm not really doing any other glitches at this point. So heading in here, we enter this pipe. you think we'd actually get there, but no. We've come to a frozen part of the Toad Town Tunnels, and over here, the semi-last super block. The last one we'll find when we start getting closer to the Star Spirit. And since we're not really going to be using Bow for anything until the last chapter, yeah, I'll just upgrade Watt. So, with that, it's now time to finally begin. Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. So, here we are! Welcome to Shiver City, populated by penguins, or as they have been come to know, Bumpties. But uh, for the sake of continuity in Paper Mario, I'll just call them penguins. And I'm gonna end it here, because honestly the video's getting a little long. So, next time on Paper Mario, we are going to see about getting to Starborn Valley. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you wish to follow along to some other Let's Plays, click the top right box to subscribe. Any concerns come up, I'll let you guys know my Twitter, additional info in the lower left box in the video, and down in the description below. This has been Matthew Speedstar, and I'll see you guys next time when we run through the next part of Paper Mario. Time to start working on my Russian accent.